Hello there, I'm Giant Gore with more Pokemon Sun, and last part we got here to the Elite Four again, I guess, and we battled, uh, Kahi, Elite Four, remember Kahi, the Master of Fine type Pokemon? So now we can take on the Champion. I have Princess up front, as you can see, right here, because you want a, you want a really powerful Grass or Water type move, uh, that po uh, one of your Pokemon knows, obviously. Elite Storm is 130 power, so I'm gonna go with that. Just because, uh, the Champion leads off with a, uh, Rock type Pokemon, a pure Rock type Pokemon. So now we climb the stairs of victory. How is how awesome is that? Look how fast we're going up the stairs. Haha. <laughs> yeah. We're setting the throne of victory. Look, it's Professor Kukui here to congratulate us on our on being the late four. How awesome. Oh yeah, now you're the Pokemon League champion. Oh, what the heck? What do you mean? Wouldn't it be nice if it was that simple? The truth is, there's one more person you have to battle if you want to do that title. Who is it? Is it someone I know? Oh, is it you? No, it's you. And of course, the trainer is me. Woo. Our final hurrah for your island challenge. And a special tribute as you and this Pokemon League embark on a new path. Let's have a battle worthy of this moment. I get up from the throne. We battle each other. Oh, man, my camera's messed up here. Let me fix that. The corner. There we go. That's better. Oh, great. This, this, this battle. This is the music's awesome. Professor Kukui. Pokemon Professor Kukui. What's the battle? Yeah, six Pokemon. Okay. It's a six on six battle. I'm doing this blind. All I know is his first Pokemon. Like most of these battles for the Wii 4. So, yeah. Cause I don't remember my Pokemon Moon save file. I don't think I got the farm my Pokemon Moon save file. Uh, now I think about it, I, mean, I got stuck at like at, like a really easy section of the game. Let's go for Leaf Storm. It's gonna use Stone Edge, okay? It's a rock type move. Same type of attack bonus. Leaf Storm hits, awesome. Oh man, it's probably gonna use a full story, which kind of stinks. High jump kick, I guess. Yeah. I always to burn by the four stories, so that's good. So close to fainting it. Now, I think that this thing was KO uh, Princess, which kind of stinks, honestly. Could call it, why did it insult to injury right there? Why did it, why did it have insult to injury there? Let's see, um. I don't really have anything that resists it. This sucks. Let's get a um, let's get a yellow, I guess. It's only a little bit of HP left. We got to burn one of his four stores. So that's good. Oh, let's use Brick Brick to finish it off, hopefully. Quick call, awesome! I like you. There we go. I take it on this Pokemon. So both of us with Pokemon are, both of us only have five Pokemon left. Yeah, they all get level the 53 there, so that's pretty cool. Snorlax. Yeah, there's a Snorlax, that's gonna take so long to defeat. Um That's a lot of physical defense, but not special defense. I'm still gonna go for a ninja here because I have brick break. Now if this knocks knows raw or something like that, that's kinda sucks for me. This thing's level 56 in male, so it's uh it's four level uh, two levels higher than ninja. I wanna do a comparison. How much does brick break do and how much does drill pack do? Ouch. I'm gonna stick with the Brick Break, honestly. <laughs> More Brick Break should do it. That'd be a slam, okay. Luckily, Ninja outspeeds this thing, so that's good. Jeez, it's a close battle already. I wanna win this one, obviously. There we go, nice. Cool. 
And she's not level 55, awesome. She's not level 58, awesome. Nine tails. Um, our best bet would probably be Goma. Let's go with Goma. I wish Goma knew anything better than Bubble Beam. Safeguard, I'm not gonna focus on putting any status conditions on you, so jokes on you. Just keep on spamming Bulba Beam, I guess. Helping Bulba Beam blow some of its speed, that'd be nice. Hopefully, Bulba Beam faints this, but uh, we'll see what happens. Critical attack, it awesome. Now it comes level 54, awesome. Bravery. Okay, bravery. I guess I can stay in. Just do a bit of damage. Because the gummy does another ice beam. This thing's a normal flying type. This is level 56 in male, so it's two levels higher than Goma. And Goma fainted. Shoot, okay. Let me go to yellow then. I don't have any rock type moves, so I'm kind of limited to that, what I can do here for super, type, for super effective moves. Let's go for Thunderbolt. My Thunderbolt should do it. There we go, awesome. Primaria? You want to send out a bunch of grass or a uh, poison type Pokemon that knows always oh, a Pokemon that knows a poison a poison move or a chip move or an ice type move or, or a grass type move not not ice but grass type Pokemon move. I'm gonna stay in because uh, I think that Yellow is on a roll and hopefully he, he can knock this thing out. It'd be really nice if we could. I think if it's Kukui picks uh picks the Pokemon that uh. You, no one picked out of how and me. So, like, for example, how picked uh, Rowlet as a start Pokemon. I picked Litten as my start Pokemon. You know, Grass and Fire type starter. So he's he'll pick the type that's a me, that that Pokemon the, the trainer didn't that the uh, how or you didn't pick. So in this case, he probably picked Popular, the Water starter, Water type starter. Now let me see if I'm right on that because I think it's yeah, it's the final version of Popolio. Okay, so that makes sense. Yeah, this kind of reminds me of the, uh, you can, there's a glitch in Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow, I believe. I think it's for all three. Don't quote me on that, because I'm not exactly sure, but, uh, you know, there's a glitch where you can fight Professor Oak in, like, the Cerulean Gym and Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow with a, uh, with a glitch, and that's pretty cool. He picks the starter you and Gary didn't pick at the start of your guys' adventure. So that was pretty cool. So, uh, let's use Thunderball on this thing. Yeah, the cook made this one first, haha. -ha. I don't like this move. It's so powerful. Let's go for the Thunderbolt again. See power, okay, of course. Poor yellow, just got the small wash there.
Let's see how much the Psychic does. Cool. Moonboss is gonna hurt. Hopefully, I have more Psychic can paint this thing. I'm gonna use my max one of my max of hers on uh light yellow here. There you go. Sorry, Ninja. Let's go back to yellow. Okay. So this faints it. There we go, awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's another 54. Awesome. Magnuson, let's go to Umber for that. Let's go to Umber, yeah. I'm gonna go out with the foil blitz here. Awesome. Recoil damage, but that's okay. Shoot, it didn't work. I knew you guys are forced, so that's how I used weaker move. You avoided the attack, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That, that could cost me the battle. That could have totally cost me the battle. Okay. You know what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use my one full restore that I have. My one full restore. Both use four stories. We both use four stories. It's kind of funny. Okay, I'm gonna go for a flame throw this time. Come on, just faint it. Okay, well I know it's gonna be at least a two KO. What oh, burned it? Nice. Just hoping I can land a flamethrower here. I hopefully I'm not in too much trouble. I'm in too much trouble, shoot. I should have healed too. So it's still that's awesome. Critical, 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 critical. I'm still not worried about Thunder Wave yet and my paralysis on a uh, umber yet. Fight the hit's awesome. We beat him. Nice. That was a close battle though. That was a really close battle. Too close for comfort. Jeez. Okay, yeah. I couldn't even win though. I went all out. But what a fresh, refreshing feeling. To, feeling. Whoa. Whew. Thanks for $13,920 or $139.20. $139 I appreciate it, Professor Kukui. Amazing. It's like I told you before, the strongest moves you can use are the ones a Turner and 
their Pokemon uh, ch choose together in the heat of battle. Uh, heat of the heat of the moment at the, the moment, yeah, not battle. When it comes to, when it really counts, and yeah, and you, pr you just proved me right. Congrats, cousin. You're champion. You're champion. We can all be proud of. I told you I didn't. I told you, didn't I? Up there on Mount Hakalene. Man, the Pokemon at the trainers and Pokemon and the trainers in Alola really are the best. I want everyone in the world to know that too. That's always been my dream. All right, there. Right. Remember now, I finally now it finally came true, and it's all thanks to you, Stephen. You and your right shoe. Yeah, nice. I'm so happy I got to battle you and your team here, right where my dreams came true. And now, Stephen, first ever champion of Alola. Pokemon League, it's time to record you and your beloved team achievement for eternity. I was just your general champion, yeah, okay, cool. Princess, level 52. Yo, level 54. Go, my level 54. Ace level 58. Umber level 56. Ninja level 55. Congratulations, you are Laura's first ever champion. So this was definitely a change of pace. I actually went into the Elite Four without buying items and stocking up on items and without training my butt off to get into higher levels so I'd rematch the Elite Four levels and be close to it. I was lucky in a lot of spots. I don't know how I did this. Like I was, I only had one full story going in this challenge, Elite Four challenge, and I was able to come out and become the champion because I was just able to fight my way through all this. It's crazy. That is crazy. You entered the Hall of Fame spectacular, much as the sun shines upon the moon. Illuminating it, so have the friends you made during your island challenge illuminated illuminated your life. I ha you have much grown. You have grown so much. You really have done love your Pokemon with all your heart, didn't you, Stephen? You really do love your Pokemon with all your heart, don't don't you, Stephen? Yes, I do. Yep, that's pres that's preciously. Precisely why he and his Pokemon were able to combine their strength to emerge victorious. Now we are going to be aimed for your seat. I hope you are ready for some rivals. Oh yeah, people actually challenge you to battle and champion this game, which is pretty cool because you can keep your championship title for once. It's crazy. I know. <laughs> the first ever champion of the lower Pokemon League. Let's celebrate so glad, grandly that even the sun and moon themselves will take notice. Ha! Huh. All right, Stephen. Let's burn. Let's bust the U-turn for Melly Melly Island. We're gonna have a big festival in Nikki Town. Don't don't worry. I'll just be sure to let Lily know too. Okie dokie. Back in Ikiki Town. Or Iki Town, I don't remember. I probably pronounced it wrong. 
as hell. Is my mom. Here he is, the first Pokemon League champion from Alola. This calls for celebration, so let's get to it. There's Gladian. There's Lily. There's Gladian again. <laughs> Talk about celebration. Everyone's just so happy. Steven, congratulations on becoming the champion. It's amazing, isn't it? All these people are here just to help you celebrate this achievement, Steven. I guess you're right. Everyone looks so happy. The adults, the children, even the Pokemon. It's been... It, it it hasn't been easy, but I'm really glad that I came to Lola. Glad to meet, getting to meet you, Stephen. No, it was even just it wasn't just meeting you. I was I was traveling together with you. I'm so glad I got to be part of that journey. Hey, Stephen. It looks like the party is going on. Going to keep on going strong for some time still, wouldn't you say? Do you think maybe we could sneak out for a second and visit the ruin of conflict? I heard the Kahana Hawa that bridge has been fixed. Sure. I think Tapakoko might be waiting. I'm sure it's waiting for you to come to it, Steven. And now that you've finished your round challenge,
That's always that takes me back. But but then I can barely think about anything. I was so desperate. But thinking back on it now, it really was Solgala Solga Leo. I mean it was Nebby who thought who brought the two of us together, wasn't it, Steven? Come on, let's go. Spooky. The ruins of conflict. The ruins of conflict. The stone door this type of girl helped us that day. Was it because of some connection to Saligo, the legend of Pokemon of the Low Region? Not Saligo, Salig. Galeo or something, I don't know. I'm really bad with conversations with Pokemon. This reminds me of, the hap of when Hapu became the corner of Pony Island. My heart is pounding in my chest. Is it because of the sacred guardian? Oh, is Tapu Koko here with us? Great type of It's because you helped the cosmic lived and able to become Soligolio. Please allow me to thank you on, us, on its behalf. Thank you so very, very much. It's your turn next, Stephen. I want to show you your appreciation in the way the only I'm was. Kind of champion could. I know you can do this, Steven. I'll make sure your team is ready too. She has a Pokemon, which she heals up a Pokemon, which is pretty cool. But you have reached out and touched the statue. You seem to hear a voice ringing in your head on as though it's coming from your z-ring this time go 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 I don't even know what type of attack the Coco is. It's electric something. Okay. Jump kick, I guess. Stinks. If we don't faint this thing, jeez.
Leech's madness, that seems like a very powerful move. Don't feed it, don't feed it, don't feed it. That's good. Oh, I burned it though, shoot. I don't, I, I didn't even save it though. It don't let me save, it couldn't let me save. I don't really want to use my spell on this thing. Oh, I might just go down. I have to just accept that I won't, I won't uh, catch this thing probably. I could use the cook ball. Not dusk ball. I want to use an ultra ball. Yep, okay. We can try. One, two, three. That's all, that sucks so bad. Oh, paralyzed number, okay. Well, that's one way to not catch a legendary Pokemon. That was, <laughs> it shakes three times and it breaks out and I can't even catch it again. Z crystal. I can't make out that word. To the four at your feet. Dropped to the four at your feet, I'm guessing. I don't know. Okay, oh yeah, that Z crystal. Cool, yeah. We didn't catch Tapu Koko though, which kind of stinks. <laughs> I didn't have a chance to save, and still I don't have a chance to save. I haven't been able to take control of my character for like the past like 20 minutes. Maybe more, I don't know. Tapu Koko has much of wise. Uh, I must have lost that battle to you, but I don't think I was sad about that. Okay, I'm sure the two of you will meet in battle again someday. Yeah, right. I don't know if he, does he come back. I don't even know if he comes back. I'm so glad you can come here. It's been weighing on my heart. Come on, Steven. We should get back to the village. If we didn't, if we don't return. Uh, soon. Everyone will realize that we slipped away from the festival. Well, it's your idea to come out here, Lily. You know, my character doesn't say, know how to say no, apparently, so... Whatever. Although I did say, sure, I want to leave the festival and go check out the other place that we visited that had the broken bridge at one point. Everyone is here so fun. Everyone looks like they have Having so much fun that I don't even know if I knew that we left. Oh, the battle royale is already to be in. In hindsight, I should have just used my Master Ball and Tapu Koko so it didn't faint and kill itself or faint itself. Yeah, so it didn't faint itself. But whatever. Can I please have control of my character again? It's been like a long time. Not a very long time, but a long time to me, it feels like. You guys have just been celebrating and I just hurt. I just made the guardian of this little area just like faint. That's great. That's not good on my part, but still. I want to have control of my character again. You guys can just keep on dancing and stuff and just celebrating. I mean, I don't have control of my character. I can't save the game. I can't switch up my Pokemon. I can't look at my items. Stuff like that. Are you guys even listening to me at this point? Like seriously, I feel like I'm being ignored right now. I feel like I'm totally being ignored, except for Lily, she's paying attention at least. It's a beautiful festival, isn't it? Everyone looks so happy. I hope that you'll, that you'll always stay just the way you are now, Stephen. Thanks. Look at how your joy has brought so much light to everyone here. I guess that was my doing. I think even my mother would have smiled and laughed at this to see this if she couldn't have more come. 
I think my mother is getting a, a bit better. She even tried to come tonight. Yeah, it's interesting. I've been th trying to get her to understand that what she did wrong, gently, of course. But she needs someone in to scold her. Okay. But the process, I think, of d discovering what I have to do next. What is that I, have to, that I can do? Yeah. Steven, I am going to. Fireworks, okay. Woohoo! Look at this, everyone is so fired up. Woo. Uh, we, we got the right, the bull, and strongest ever trainer to celebrate after all. Yeah, and I'm going to keep training with Lama for a while, and then I'm going to beat my gramps for real at last. And then I'm coming for you, champion Steven. Steven, yeah. So I mean, champion. I'm sure everyone. He wants to see your partners too. Come on and show you those partners. We were there for so many of your discoveries, new experiences, adventures of, on your island challenge. Hmm, you're positive. You're positively glowing. Thanks, mom. I don't guess they don't even get any camera time there for a second. You don't get any camera time. And there's just the sound of them coming out of the Pokeballs. That's great. Pokemon Sun. Presented by Game Freak. Is this the crits? And so Steven's kind island, island challenge came to an end. Uh, let's see, um, the festival to celebrate the birth of, I was so much, to, what the heck, I'm so glad I get to meet you all, I'm so glad I get to, got to meet you all, um, there, the, my camera's really bad, picking up these words, I just gotta accept it, I can't read all of them, the next day, I couldn't read that one at least, that's cool. Now I wonder what will happen today. Is that Professor Kukui again? Why is that the doorbell? Oh, that's got to be Kukui. Why don't you let him in, Steven? Meow. Yeah. Oh, it's Hal. Steven! It's a desert, it's all a disaster. What's wrong, Hal? It's Auntie. Hey, sorry. Hi, sorry. I'll explain it later, but, but, Steven, you have to come to the, with me right now. If we don't hurry, she'll slip. She's gonna leave. Okay. You know, this video, this recording video has already been 41 min over 41 minutes now, and I just want to control my character for once. Ever since the beginning of this video, I haven't had to control my character. You know, Lily, uh, Kanto is a long way away from here. Uh, try not to get, let the jet lag hit you too hard. She's leaving to go to Kanto? No! Okay, uh, burn it swell. Okay, okay, she said that she'd be too sad to watch me go, watch you go, so she wouldn't even come with me. Wait, is Kukui leaving for Kanto or is Lily leaving for Kanto? Because I'm confused. I know it's a lot to ask, but I, f uh, but I forgive her this time, would ya? I miss her that probably. She didn't tell me, uh, to let you know 
the loft in the lab is yours to use indefinitely. So you, so you can come back and stay whenever you like, really. There's how. Cool. You didn't tell us how. I'm sorry, but I've decided I have to go to Kanto. This is sad. To help my mother get better, but more than that, I have to help myself get stronger. Of course, I'm sad to leave a little while. But I thought of, of, of going to Kanto as also fills my heart with excitement. I'm going to become a real trainer and meet all kinds of wonderful Pokemon. I'm going to travel all across around Kanto, just like we did to on a little uh, for your island challenge. Yes. Okay. As a matter of, of what happens to on my journey, I'm going to be okay. Because the smiles that you shared with me, you and Steven, and everyone here, thank you so, so much. And that's why someday, someday I'll, I'll come back to Lola again. But, but I haven't gotten to say any of the things I wanted to say to you. So, so, Arg, I'm gonna send you a letter, a really, really long one. You better wait. I love how, and please take this. Steven, it may look a little worn, but this is because this is my most treasured belonging. Once, that uh, once was his most tre treasure, tre treasured belonging. A pokey doll, nice. And I suppose this is goodbye. No, I feel how Ash felt when Dawn left in the anime, or whenever her female, their, a female companion left, or a companion including Brock left. You know, they feel so sad that they're leaving and going their separate ways. Sniffle. I know what it's like when you can't help but cry. But you know, when you're saying goodbye to someone you love, you gotta show them one last smell. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I think I would want to go see my gramps. Yeah, let's go. Let's all go home. We've got people waiting for us. Our families are waiting for us. So that ends Pokemon Sun. I don't know if I'm going to do the after game yet, I'm not for sure, I'll probably make a separate video or a separate tweet on Twitter announcing if I'm going to do the after game, I believe there's an after game, but I'm not for sure. This was a fun game, I like this game a lot, I had a fun time playing this game, it was really good, I like the story, I like the Pokemon. I liked everything about it, really. It was really nice. So as for my next project, it's going to be yet another Pokemon game. But it's a Pokemon game that I haven't done, obviously. And it's for the 3DS. So I'll let you guys guess what it's going to be, if you want to guess. If not, that's okay. And I guess I'll see you guys soon. Depending on how long these credits are, but I think we're done here.
Oh, look, there's more. I don't know what else to talk about. I mean, I covered everything I wanted. Um, I really like this project. Um, I like this project. It was fun. I liked my team and how they turned out. Uh, there's obviously TMs and HM TMs, I should say, or Pokemon. Even I think all my Pokemon learned their fi their final moves from leveling up. But there's all TMs like Surf. I didn't do uh, put on a uh, Goma, just because I didn't cover it. I guess I don't know. I could look up how to get the TM for Surf and other TMs that I missed, but I think we got through the game pretty well on its own, thanks to the experience share. That thing's very overpowered, but I like using it. It's very convenient, you know? I just, I just like how it functions. Not everyone likes the experience share in this game, because you can, uh, you can easily get overleveled, but I like it. I mean, I thought it was fun. Yeah. And I was going in the... Only four basically blind because in my Pokemon Moon Safe, I'm pretty sure I didn't even make it to the Silly Four. So that was fun. I beat the Elite Four and the champion, Professor Kukui, with, uh, using, without training and without getting prepared with items and stuff, which I thought was really fun. I didn't, it didn't really mean to go that way, but I was out on a roll. Already, I was able to, after I finished the, beat the first Elite Four member, I was able to think, like, maybe I can do this. Maybe I can beat this whole Elite Four without going back and having to reset to use, get items and train and do all this crazy stuff to get prepared for the Elite Four. But I did just fine, and that was pretty cool. I did have to use a lot of max survivors and my only full store, and high potions and super potions and all that, and berries, even like citrus berries and orange berries. But I was able to, like, get through all that, and that was really nice. That was a nice feeling to get that all done and completed. Yeah, I like this game overall. It's probably one of my favorite 3DS games, because I like the story, it's a good change of pace, and I loved using Olitin as my starter, and it was fun, I assembled my team the way I liked it, and I really enjoyed how that turned out. I found that to be a lot of fun and enjoyment there. Yeah. So I guess that's all I have to say for now. And so I'll let you guys listen to this awesome credit, listen to the awesome music, and then watch these wonderful credits scroll up the screen.
everyone smiles shine everyone smiles shine so brightly or something like that these smiles led us to so many other people this sounds like Kingdom Hearts music it could be Kingdom Hearts music and in any of those meetings we led to a bright future I am so glad I got to meet everyone I'm so glad I got to meet you. Pokemon Sun. The end. And if this is where the end of this uh, walkthrough guide, thank you everyone who watched my Pokemon Sun walkthrough guide. And save us our adventure automatically right there. Okay, cool. And it brings it to the start screen, doesn't it? Yeah. That's cool. Okay. Might as well go back into our file, see what happens. Oh, we're back in our bedroom. Hey, something right here. A strange creature sucked into this. I don't even know what that is. It's crazy. It's a green alien looking thing. Uh, Sina wants to talk to you. Zzz. I just received a signal from the Zygo Cube, from your Zygo Cube. Uh, the creature that just sucked into the cube was, uh, is what we call a Zygarde Core. Cores are mysterious gestures that form Zygarde together with cells. Also, scores uh, retain Zygarde's moves. Yeah. You can use the Zygarde's Cube to teach the your Zygarde a move. Why don't we? Why don't you try it sometime? Uh, Boone's chance. Bone chance. Bony chance. I don't know. So yeah. I, again, I don't know if there's anything I want to do in the after game. If there's an after game, which I think there is. There might be more legendaries to catch. I don't know. I'll probably have to research it. But yeah, for now. I'll see you guys in my next video then. Whether it be the part one or the announcement video of my next project. Or if it's more of this game where I do this more to where I start the after game and do whatever I want, I guess, for that matter, in the after game. So, yeah, this has been Janko again. I want to thank you for watching and goodbye, and I'll see you guys in my next video.